Hey everyone, welcome back to this playlist, uh, which talks about real-time interview questions and answers for Tricentis Tosca. Now the next question, which uh, we are going to discuss about uh, is more of a generic question, uh, which you will uh, come across um, if you are uh, interviewing for Tosca or for some other tool. So in this question, you will be asked, uh, what uh, will you do when you have got uh, less time to automate a particular number of scenarios? Or uh, the other version of this could be um, if you have got this much amount of time and you have to execute this many number of scenarios, uh, you cannot complete it within the time, then what will be your approach, right? So there are uh, so many moving paths in this question and uh, you need to consider different factors, um, the solutions uh, which uh, you can talk about and then uh, the improvements in the overall testing process so that uh, this can be handled uh, in a better way the next time. So keep all of this in mind uh, when you're trying to answer this particular question. So let's talk about uh, some of the points which could help you uh, in answering this particular question. So the first thing which uh, you can talk about, uh, specifically when you are talking about Tosca, Tosca is built upon uh, the risk-based framework, right? So whatever test cases you create or the execution list or requirements which you create, you have to consider uh, the risk-based approach. And this is very effective uh, in this particular scenario because you have got a number of scenarios. Uh, say, for example, you have got 100 scenarios, but you can only automate or execute uh, 50 scenarios in the given amount of time. So what do you do in this type of scenario, right? So you follow the risk-based approach, which means you need to automate uh, the features or functionalities which have got the highest risk for the client or the customer, right? So uh, first you will be on um, automating or executing those high risk uh, scenarios, and then you'll be focusing on the low risk scenarios. And that is what is the risk-based approach or the risk-based testing approach, which we need to follow in this particular scenario because we have got less amount of time and we have to execute a uh, more number of scenarios, right? The next solution which uh, you can propose is to have parallel execution in your project. So with parallel execution, we can execute uh, many different scenarios parallelly across different machines. This will not only save time, but uh, we can execute more scenarios uh, in the same amount of time. This is only possible when you have got parallel execution in place. And this can be done uh, with the help of distributed execution, which is part of Tosca. So once we have set up the distributed execution, we can uh, parallelly execute our scenarios much faster and in minimum amount of time. Now, the next point which you can talk about uh, is more related to the Agile process. So we have got different sprints um, in uh, Agile project. So if we are not able to complete um, any stories uh, in a particular sprint, we always defer it to the next sprint. Now, obviously we will try to cover all the high risk uh, scenarios in that particular sprint, but whatever we are not able to cover, we can uh, talk to the management and we can defer those particular stories or uh, test cases into the next sprint. Now, the next two points um, is more from management perspective uh, where we have to share feedback and also we need to improve our planning process, right? So, so we have to share uh, proper feedback to our stakeholders and our clients that this is the amount of um, functionality which can be delivered in this particular sprint. And uh, these are the high risk scenarios. So which we are covering in this particular sprint, but the remaining things will be covered in the coming up sprints. So continuous feedback is very important uh, in this kind of scenarios so that the customers and the stakeholders are aware of uh, the whole process and also the current status of um, all the stories, right? Now talking about the last point, which is improving the overall planning process. So in this, uh, we should uh, plan our activities um, and the amount of work which we are taking in a particular sprint. Uh, if uh, we are not able to automate uh, those many number of scenarios, we should not include them in the current sprint, right? So we should plan 
based on the available resources and then uh, we should uh, already have a plan in place like um, how many test cases can be automated in uh, a particular amount of time uh, depending on that we should plan to pick up uh, the features or functionalities which can be delivered uh, in a particular amount of time so all of these points can be discussed uh, in this particular question uh, it covers almost all the different answers it provides uh, the interviewer uh, with different options or solutions which can be implemented uh, in such a scenario. And then uh, it talks about uh, how to manage uh, the sprint process or how to manage the planning, um, sharing feedback with your stakeholders or managers. So uh, overall, it talks about all the points which the interviewer is looking for. So that's all for this particular question. Hopefully it was helpful. Let me know if you have got any feedback or you want me to cover any particular question on Tosca or any other automation tool. Uh, I will make sure that I include it uh, in my coming up sessions. So thanks for listening to me. Um, keep watching and keep learning Tosca.